Hey guys, hope your week's going well. So here we are talking about our marketing plan this week. We have taken some time, we've started to dive into the different steps of the marketing plan, and today we're going to continue doing that. So today's topic is going to be on goals. So first, just a quick review. In the marketing plan, it consists of five steps, okay? Situation analysis, target audience, goals, strategies and tactics, and budget. So, so far, we have talked about situation analysis, which as you know, that is basically an analysis or a summary of your current situation. Everything that is happening, everything that's going on in your situation, what's going good, what's not working out well, what you could do better at, what you love, every detail about your current situation, that's what step one does. Step one is absolutely important and a must have to create the success in the rest of your marketing plan. Step two, we also talked about yesterday, and this is your target audience. So this is defining your demographic, who it is you work with, why you work with them, what they like and what they don't like, what interests and hobbies they have, what makes them excited about your product. This is your target audience. Remember, like I said yesterday, it's like the bullseye. You can't hit the target if you're not shooting towards something. So, so many people tell me, I can't sign people up. I'm not getting people to my classes. Well, it's because we're not shooting in the right direction. Make sure you have your target audience defined. You know your demographic and who it is you're working with because this is going to help. And now today we're going to talk about step three, goals. We're going to define our goals. I'm gonna show you a couple of strategies on how to set goals, and this will help you. Now this is going to be, again, a quite a large section of your marketing plan. You really want to set specific goals that are going to help you become a success. Okay, so take the time to really think about these goals. Think about what it takes to be a success, what it is that's going to help you be a success, and so on and so forth. Let's get started, okay? I want to start out with a quote, and I love this quote. I want you to think about it as you're setting your goals. Think little goals and expect little achievements. Think big goals and win big success. I think this is absolutely true. There's times that we do need to set smaller goals, and that's totally okay. But then there's other times that we hold ourselves back from setting large goals and seeing the big success that we could all benefit and have. Don't set goals or limit yourself out of fear. Don't set goals or hold yourself back because you don't know if you can make something happen. You can do it. Set big goals. And in this marketing plan, that is, that's the whole purpose of this is to show you how you can do it, to show you that if it's all written out, it can be simple to make happen, and you have a plan to go to work. So remember this. I love the last line. Think big goals and win big success. Be realistic, but have fun with it. Think big. What is it you want? What is it you want to change? What is it you want to do differently? This is what you need to be doing in your business. This is how you're going to see success. This is how you're going to make a huge difference in what it is you do compared to what you're doing now. Okay? So, one thing that I like to tell everyone first is remember when you're setting goals, they should be smart goals. Okay? What is a smart goal? Well, it's simply an acronym. The S is for specific. So, when you're setting a goal, you want to be specific. You want to be very, very detailed. So, don't just say, I want to teach classes. How do you want to teach classes? Why do you want to teach classes? What kind of classes do you want to teach? How often do you teach classes? Remember, your goal is to be detailed. Specific goals, okay? The next is measurable. So M, right? Measurable. It needs to be something that can be measured. Something that you're able to monitor it, look at it, track it. So it's not just a goal that's forgotten, right? So for instance, you want to teach classes. Okay, well, how can you know if you did that? What can you do to figure out if you've done that or not? Well, you go back, you're able to see, okay, yes, I've taught classes, they went well. It's able to be measured, okay? Attainable, is it something that you can reach? Is it something that is able to happen and doable? Realistic and relevant, is it realistic to your current situation? Sometimes we set goals that aren't. Sometimes we set crazy goals, and I know that sounds crazy from the quote that I just read, but a big goal is different for every person. What might be a big goal for you may not be a big goal for someone else in their business. So set a big goal, but set something that's realistic to you. 
and something that's relevant to your business. So don't set goals that have nothing to do with your business or that are not going to help you grow, but make sure they're relevant. And then time-based. Every goal needs to have a time. Every goal needs to be you know, something that will hold you accountable. So by this day, you're going to do this. You're going to teach classes by this time. You're going to do all of these different things by a set time period. That is going to help you out quite a bit. So when you're setting goals, write this down. And remember, every goal needs to have these parts. They need to have these five steps. They need to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and relevant, and time-based. This is absolutely important when you're setting goals. Okay, so some goals that you might have. As you look at your marketing plan so far, you're going to look at your current situation. This is what we're going to base our goals off of. So what I like to do is I like to take all of the things that I don't feel like are going well, and that is what I do first. So if I'm doing a bad job at teaching classes and presentations, I'm going to set goals. So let's say you don't feel like you know enough. Okay, I'm going to set a goal to learn something. If you feel like you don't teach enough classes, I'm going to set goals to get out and teach more classes. If you feel like people aren't attending your classes and presentation, I'm going to set goals to get people to my classes and presentations. Start with your situation analysis and you base your goals off of that. So everything that you felt like was going bad, set goals. Everything that you feel like could be better, set goals. Okay. Enrollments are another thing. If you don't feel like enrollments are going well, set goals for them. If your education isn't going well, you're not educated or you're not educating your team, set goals. If you're not doing what you should be on social media, set goals. Website. If you're not using your website the way you should be, set goals to use it. If you're not sharing it enough with people, set goals. Okay. Leadership. Are you being a leader? Are you helping create leaders? Do your team see, does your team see you as a leader? These are great goals. Volume. How's your volume? Is it where it should be? Is it where you want it to be? Is it on track to help you grow the way that you want to? These are the goals that you set. So remember, you're going to set smart goals for each one of these things. So for instance, when I'm doing this on my four by eight whiteboard, this takes up a huge chunk of that whiteboard. I set very specific smart goals for each individual thing on my situation analysis. Even if something is going good, I set goals to make it go better, to continue doing it, to keep it happening. That is the way to grow. You keep setting goals and you make that happen. Now, tomorrow's video is going to be quite long. We're going to dive into how to not only take your goals and set specific strategies and tactics to accomplish them, but we're really going to dive in to show you how the marketing plan helps you make things happen. If you've already created a marketing plan from our previous videos, take some time to update your goals. This should be done every three months. How are your goals now? How did your goals go last quarter? What can you do differently? What can you change? These are important to the success of your plan. Today's video is going to be a bit shorter. I want you to take the time to really think about your goals, what it is you need to be doing, what it is that's going to help you grow your business and help you be a success. Okay. In conclusion, remember a goal without a plan is simply a wish. So not only are we having you set goals, but we are going to have you create that plan. That's what the marketing plan does. It creates a solid plan to help you not just have a wish or a dream, but a plan to succeed. If you have questions, let me know. Take some time to work on your goals and we'll talk soon.